Hey you, welcome to Sacrilegious Discourse. I'm husband. I'm wife. And together we're reading the Bible. Starting with Genesis and eventually ending with Revelations, we're working through every book and offering our atheist two cents. Or shekels. Yeah, those. We're asking questions and pointing out all the nonsense. We aren't academics or scholars. Nope. In fact, when it comes to religion, we really don't know anything at all. What we've learned so far is that God's a dick. Oh, he really is, isn't he? If you're interested in how we reached this startling conclusion, maybe start from episode one. Otherwise, jump in anywhere. It's all good. Yep. Hey, wife, we just got a new sponsor. It's Anchor. They must think we're doing something right because they picked us back up. That's amazing. Want to hear something even more amazing? Uh, yeah. I actually know what they are. You are full of shit. I'm calling your bluff. Tell me about Anchor. Okay, so Anchor by Spotify is the easiest way to make a podcast with everything you need all in one place. I'm actually surprised you knew that. But did you also know that Anchor has tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer? Yes, because I see you do that on your phone all the time and it looks pretty simple. It really is. And when hosting on Anchor, you can distribute your podcast on listening platforms like Spotify and Apple Podcasts. But I use CastBox. Yeah, darling. I know you like CastBox. It gets distributed there too and lots of other platforms as well. And how much are we paying for this awesome service? Absolutely nothing. Coolio. So then we should tell people to download the Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started? Yep. Do it now. Husband. Wife. Hey. Hey. Happy um, post-Memorial Day. Yeah, yeah. Although, I guess it's not a thing you say happy about. Happy long weekend associated with a day that... Well, I mean, we do celebrate our anniversary for... Happy anniversary! Happy anniversary, yeah. That's better. That's better. There you go. All right. So there's that. Do you remember what happened last time? Uh, We read portions of Leviticus. We did! (laughs) Good on you! I mean, that's all I got. Do you remember which portions? Like, Um, what kind of things occurred? Well, we're in, like, the middle of Leviticus. Okay, stop stalling. Do you remember anything of what happened last time or not? I don't. Okay. So, um, what happened was, one of the things was that um, um, Aaron's sons... Burn the wrong kind of wood. They fucking died. And they got killed. Those fuckers got smited. They got smited. They got smote. Man. They got smut. That was some crazy ass shit. And then um, the other remaining brothers were told, don't grieve. Yeah. Well, but like all of Israel could grieve, but But not, not. It's coming back to me now. See? See? Yeah. The brothers were like told, don't you grieve. Don't you cry for them fools. Yeah. They burned the wrong type type of wood. They knew what they did. It wasn't even, like, it was the wrong incense, wasn't it? No, it was the wrong kind of wood. Oh, okay. Wrong kind of wood. All right. Yeah. Well, anyway, that was that was crazy stuff. That was crazy stuff. Yeah. No, they burned the wrong kind of fire, not wood. Fire. I hate it when I burn the wrong kind of fire. Right? Uh, yeah, I mean, I always get the blue flame when I'm supposed to get the red flame, you <laughs> oh know? Oh, my God. <laughs> You're dumb. So. So what are we doing today? What we are doing today is Leviticus chapters um, 11 and 12. All right. Um, before we get into it. Wait. M- wait? Yeah. Okay. That's what, what I was doing, waiting, you know, before we got into it. <laughs> no. Do your housekeeping bullshit in a minute. Okay. What anniversary was this for us? Oh, why did you have to ask that? <laughs> you hardly know. <laughs> Just to be fair, we argue over this every... We don't argue over it. We, we don't know every single year because we got married twice. Why did we get married twice? One was for um, insurance, basically. Yeah, and, and then, then... The other one was our actual uh, ceremony, sort of. Right. But we kind of always go by the initial one because we're, you know, we're still married and that's the longer one and that's more fun. Yeah. So it's like 12 or 13 years? It's 13. 13. If you, if you, if we go by the longest one. If you go by the longest See, one. See, I had... Well, I'm about to add 12 and 13, so I was right there. Good job. Yeah. 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 You did it. All right. All right. Now why, you can... why did you do that to me? Because that was horrible. Because it was fun to put you on the spot. Because yeah. because what did we do for our anniversary this year? <laughs> <laughs> Not a goddamn thing. <laughs> I mean, it was 
glorious. It was wonderful, wasn't it? We sat around, we did Netflix and chill and Chipotle. Yeah, and no, it was good. It was nice. Yeah. Yeah. We avoided the world and the world left us alone for a little bit. and For the most part, yeah. For the most part. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. All right. So housekeeping. Housekeeping. Yeah. Um, make sure you visit us on sacrilegiousdiscourse.com. Make sure you get onto our social media. We could really use some help out there getting our stuff promoted. So like, you know, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, Email. Facebook. Although we have zero Facebook followers. So like if you want to be the first sacrilegious discourse Facebook follower, because we sucked. We got Facebook up was like the last thing I've done. That's because I don't like we Facebook. We don't like Facebook. But if you're on Facebook, we do need the help over there. Yeah. So like look up sacrilegious discourse on Facebook and go join us on there because that would be fantastic. It would. I wish I had a special prize to give the first follower, but I don't. I mean, Just the we'll rec- call you out. Yeah, we'll call you. Yeah, we'll call you out on the next episode. Yeah. If you if you are our first follower on Facebook, we will call you out on our next episode and say, "Hey, man, or woman, or person." Person. Hey, Thank person. Thank you so much. You're awesome. Yeah. Remember when Hannah wrote us her, our first? Um, yeah, that was awesome. Our first fan mail. Yeah. Yeah. I, like. We're still calling her out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Episodes ago. So, yeah, definitely. See? Do it. Your name will go down in infamy. Did you already tell them what we're doing today or do we still need to do that? Um, We're doing 11 and 12, but I think I already did say that. Okay. Well, on to Leviticus 11 and 12 then. Yeah, let's go. Hey, wife. Yes, husband. Did you know that we are now on Patreon? Um, yes, because you told me, but also, no, tell me more. <laughs> so we're on Patreon now. Are we? We are. And our supporters can go there and support us. And we have multiple levels all the way up to You Killed God. That sounds really drastic and escalated quickly-ish. Well, no, there's multiple levels before there. So it, es- it es- escalates on a sliding scale of, you know, cheap to, to not cheap. Oh. But, you know, we can definitely use any amount. So, like, any support is always appreciated. So, what exactly is Patreon? It's a place where you can show your support for our podcast. And Just our podcast? Any podcast or any <laughs> performer. But, you know, we're the ones that, you know, you're listening to right now. So, maybe you should, uh, you know, support us. That'd be awesome. That would be awesome. But we love you anyway. So, all you got to do is go to Patreon. Look up Sacrilegious Discourse. It's actually patreon.com forward slash sacrilegious discourse is our actual main page there. So, head on over and send us some love. Yeah. Oh, hey. Hey. (laughs) Are you ready to try this again? Yeah, now I mean we, I gave us like a half hour after your fuck up. My fuck up. Yeah, yeah. it was a fuck she up. She said too. my name. I know. And we're supposed to be anonymous, so like you know. Sorry, and I apologize profusely. She did. But you know what's really funny is that you didn't even hear it because you don't listen to me. That's not true. I'm so used to you saying my name that it didn't register that you had said my name. Didn't register slash didn't hear me. Regardless, no, 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 no. I called myself no, 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 no. out. My whole job in this podcast is to respond to what you read. So I am, by the nature of this podcast, listening intently on everything you're saying. Unless it's something that you're used to hearing, exactly. in which case you space it the fuck out. Because it's that extraneous not, information that I don't need in my brain. That is not good listening. No, it's... it's, it's um, it is blowing efficient me Efficient listening. It's efficient listening. Whatever. Yeah. You're a dumbass. No, it's, I'm going for the highest efficiency. Whatever. So anyway, let's get on with the Leviticus uh, chapter 11. Oh, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, ready? Leviticus chapter 11. Clean and unclean animals. <laughs> I bet it has to do with cloven hooves and chewing the cud. I wonder how you know that. <laughs> <laughs> then the Lord said to Moses and Aaron, give the following instructions to the people of Israel. Of all the land animals, these are the ones you may use for food. You may eat any animal that has completely split hooves and chews the cud. What is the cud? I think it's grass, but I don't know that for to be certain cuz You know what I'm we not... should have we should have looked that up while we were restarting There's this. There's lots of things that we should do that we never do. That's, like we that's just true. wing this shit every it's week. It's true. And somehow it ends up going 
and people will listen to it. That's true. And they like it, I think. I hope. Well, it seems that they you do. Know. I mean, it seems like they do. I mean, more do more listen now than did before. I that, mean, that's true. <laughs> I don't know anybody that's going to hate listen to the us reading the Bible. Well, we do a lot better, though, when we're off the cuff and we had never heard the, the, the words before, so. But I still want to know what the cud is. I want to know why, what the cud is, too. Yeah. I want to know why it's not some cud or a cud or, I don't know, those cuds. I think it's grass. So why not say... Grass, choose Because it's not just grass, cud. it's like grains and, and... Okay, so why isn't it some? Choose some cud. Why is it choose the cud? I, like, I don't know. It's like the difference between nobody puts baby in a corner versus nobody puts baby in the corner. It, it makes all the difference in the world. I don't, I don't have a good answer for you. All right, I'm just saying. Yeah. You may not, however, eat the following animals that have split hooves or that chew the cud, but not both. So it's okay. got to be... Both. Not Both. one not just one or the other. Got it. And certainly not neither. Yeah. So don't eat cats. They don't have hooves to begin with at all. I'm just saying, don't eat them. Right. But we're just talking about split hoofed animals right now. I don't think that's true. Well, you could certainly eat birds and they don't have hooves. Well, I don't because they serve them at the fucking but they serve them at the fucking offerings oh that's true so you can eat birds and they don't have hooves all right god just saying you're so argumentative just saying the camel chews the cud but does not have split hooves so it is ceremonially unclean for you don't eat the camel okay okay no camel don't eat the camel even though it chews the cud what if camel just tastes absolutely delicious I can't imagine that. I, I like camel. I Well, let me rephrase that. I've never met a camel, but I imagine that I like them, and they're really cute, like in arts and crafts. Aren't cows kind of cute, in a way? You know, uh-huh. like, I mean, we eat them all the time. We have no reservation about that. But that was introduced to me before I had an idea about it. So, so what it if was, camel was introduced? It was already in my system. Like I already was eating it before I had any way to think one way or the other about it. And you're like, cute or not, you taste delicious. Right. I okay. mean, I I don't think I... Well, okay, let's take a pause here. Could you go vegetarian? Like, do you... Or at least no beef? Do you think you could go no beef? If I had somebody cooking amazingly good vegetarian dishes, <laughs> which will never happen in this house. Okay, so we would have to subscribe to some excellent um, meal delivery services like Blue Apron or what's the other one? Like Fresh Basket and what are those other ones? I don't know. They can sponsor us and I'll mention their name. Right. Okay. I'm just saying, like, um, we would have to subscribe to all these different food delivery box subscription things. Yeah. And um, I would cook those. Well, yeah, because you just got to dump the ingredients and go. Dump them in the pan. and Pretty much. Cook them up and then add the sauce and yeah. simmer and ta-da. Exactly. Look what I made. Whoa, there's a siren. You would think we live in the city and I promise we do not. Yeah. Whoa, they are flying down that road. Holy yep. moly. Okay, the Hyrax. What's a Hyrax? I don't know. Never heard of a Hyrax before. It's definitely not a Lorax, though. No, and the Lorax speaks for the trees, but I don't know what the Hyrax speaks for. Um, I want to know what a Hyrax is. I don't know. It chews the cud, whatever it is. Okay. But does not have split hooves, so it is unclean. So don't eat the Hyrax. Got it. The hare chews the cud, but does not have split hooves, so uh, it is unclean. But I know people eat rabbit. Well, there's a difference between a rabbit and a hare. That's essentially the same thing. It's not. I mean, they're related. Oh, my God. All these This is sirens. why we need the soundproof, you know, podcasting room, so we don't have, Ooh. like, freaking sirens fire going trucks. out and stuff. I wonder if, like, one of our neighbors <coughs> is on fire. I mean, I... <laughs> I mean, look, they're all zooming past, and then it's like, well, gosh, I wish they'd be quiet so we could do our podcast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. What, that I'm was just, just a truck. Now you're just getting distracted. <laughs> I was just distracted. Can we distracted. get back to okay. the, the, the podcast I'm now? I'm sorry. I'm just, like, dumbfounded that you're my just, God, like... God, we're going to have to do this a third time if you don't, like, okay, you know, shut pay your, attention. shut your face. The pig has evenly split hooves, but does not chew the cud, so it is unclean. I am not giving up bacon. There's no fucking way. I love bacon, but it is so fatty, fat, fat. Oh, I know. I know. 
I even get migraines when I eat it, but I am not giving up my bacon. You know what? I really like a good ham and cheese sandwich. Yeah. And you know where the best ham and cheese sandwich that I ever had was from? Where's that? Hooters. <laughs> I know. Isn't that ridiculous? And it might have just been the one location. I don't even know. Um, there's a Hooters in St. Petersburg, Florida that... Um, that was a really loud motorcycle. What the fuck, traffic? Okay, sorry. Um, you can Hooters. tell this is a perfect... My God. Hooters, ham and cheese. It was so good. What now, professional? I was just going to say, you, you can tell this is a professional production. Whatever. I never said it was. No, I know. I'm just you like, get what you get. There's so many goddamn <laughs> sounds in this one. I'm like, ah. You get what you get and you don't get upset. Right. That's the thing. Okay. You may not eat the meat of these animals, as mentioned above, or even touch their carcasses. Mm. They are ceremonially unclean for you. Stop touching the pigs all the time. I mean, time. I'm always touching carcasses. So I'm and hyrixes. Have to watch. Yeah, definitely. I'm all about the hyrix carcasses. Ooh, now we're going to learn about marine animals. Of all the marine animals, these are the ones you may use for food. Okay. You may not eat anything from the water if it has both fins and scales, whether taken from salt water or from streams. Hmm. Wait, let me make sure I read that right. You may eat anything from the water. Not may not eat. You may oh, eat. Okay. As long as it has both fins and scales. That makes better sense. Oh, okay. All right. You can eat the fishes. Got it. Got it. And that's salt water or streams. You can eat them. Okay. But you must never eat animals from the sea or from rivers that do not have both fins and scales. They That would like rule out like shark. Shellfish. Shark. Who eats a shark? People eat shark. Do they really? Yeah. That seems weird. I would never eat a shark. I'm just not interested. I mean, at least I don't think they have scales, so. No, they don't. They right. have like a tough like dolphin. Yeah. They are detestable to you. Did you know that? That seems like saying, this is ugly to you. Wait, right. I'll be the judge of that. Yeah. <laughs> you don't tell me what tastes gross to me. Okay. This applies both to little creatures that live in shallow water and to all creatures that live in deep water. So this is shellfish. Mm. Don't eat shellfish, which I'm allergic to anyway. So yeah. that's yeah. fine for me. They will always be detestable to you. I've, I've said this before, but there's an awful lot of fucking rules in this book. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. A lot of rules that are kind of bullshitty. Uh huh. You must never eat their meat or even touch their dead bodies. Any marine animal that does not have both fins and scales is detestable to you. What exactly are you supposed to do if you have a shark rotting out back of your house? Like, just like kind of ended up on shore and it's um, just stinking up the place? You get a broom and <laughs> use the stick end to poke it away. Okay. These are the birds that are detestable to you. Ready? Okay, I'm ready. You must never eat them. The griffin vulture, the bearded vulture, the black vulture. I don't okay? even know where those... Don't eat vultures. Okay. You know why? Because they're carrion eaters. And um, so they carry lots of diseases. Right. That's why. Right. I wouldn't eat them anyway. Never eat scavenger animals. Okay. Really, that's why you shouldn't eat pigs, because they are scavenger animals also. Whatever. The kite... Falcons of all kinds, ravens of all kinds, the eagle owl, the short-eared owl, the seagull, hawks of all kinds, the little owl, the cormorant, the great owl, the barn owl, the desert owl, <laughs> the Egyptian vulture, the stork, herons of all kinds, the hoopoe, and the bat. Okay. Don't eat them. I like how they threw bat in there with the birds. And I know. A bat is not a bird. Right. What is a bat? I it's a it was rodent. Like a flying rodent. Yeah, it's a rodent. Yeah, whatever. Stupid. I mean, I could be kind of wrong about I'm, that. But... Well, we both came to that conclusion. Right. If we had a guess, they but... certainly look like a flying rodent. The I'm least. pretty. They're nasty. I don't like bats. Yeah. I don't like most creatures. I don't like people. You know what? <laughs> I don't like most things. You should just. Yeah, I was gonna say you should just stop it. I don't like. And I don't fill, like. Fill in the blank. <laughs> You must not eat winged insects that walk along the ground. They are detestable to you. Winged insects that walk along the ground. Like flies. But I mean, they're so winged like any and then winged they walk. insect then? I don't know. Like okay. cockroaches? Don't eat a cockroach. Okay. Because they walk along the ground. Are they winged? They're winged. Are they? You didn't know cockroaches are winged? I didn't, you, yeah, I Yeah. Whatever. 
They fly too. They're grody. That is grody. They're fucking nasty. I hate I agree. them. I agree. You may, however, eat winged insects that walk along the ground and have jointed legs so they can jump. I don't. I even, don't even know what that entails. And how do you like? You pick it up and you look at it and you'd be like, "Nope, can't eat you. No joints on them, little legs." <laughs> <laughs> The insects you are permitted to eat include all kinds of locusts, bald locusts, crickets, and grasshoppers. We got plenty of locusts right now. I know, because it's cicada season. But we did hear that it's probably not a great idea to eat them. Oh, yeah, because they got um, the ass munch, um, that ass eating um, parasite. Or whatever, that, yeah. The bacteria. Yeah. No, the fungi. Flesh eating disease. The like flesh eating, eating disease whatever. fungus that. Is an ass munch thing that chews their back ends off. But also, you can get high off of them, apparently. Well, yeah, but you don't want to eat them because. Because if you get high off of it, you're probably going to be not in good shape. Yeah, and they have a lot of other toxins in, right, in them. Right, right. The, th- the thing that makes you high is also the thing that has other toxins in Point beating, don't eat a bunch of cicadas, okay? Don't eat cicadas, you guys. I know that it's a thing and that there's all this dip them in chocolate, they're a delicacy. And look, I'm not afraid to try new things, but I read reports that said these are not the new things to try. Just don't do it. Right. Yeah. Okay. All other winged insects that walk along the ground are detestable to you. Okay. Okay. I've decided for you. You don't like them. Got it. The following creatures will make you ceremonially unclean. If any of you touch their carcasses, you will be defiled until evening. If you pick up their carcasses, <laughs> you like the way I read that? Yeah, until evening. Yeah. <laughs> until evening. Oh, is that a, oh, I thought it was going to be a bigger that curse it? than that. Yeah, yeah okay. I'm fine. I'm fine with that. So do what you want. Till evening. If you pick up their carcasses, you must wash your clothes. I mean, I would hope you would wash them fucking anyway, but sure. okay. Yeah. And you will remain defiled until evening. <laughs> Any animal that has split hooves that are not evenly divided or that does not chew the cud is unclean for you. Okay. If you touch the carcass of such an animal, you will be defiled. Okay. Of the animal, but just until evening, I think, I, right? Yeah, I guess. Of the animals that walk on all fours, those that have paws are unclean. See, don't eat cats. Hmm. Told ya. Hmm. I mean, I wouldn't eat a cat anyway because I love my kitty. Right. If you touch the carcass of such an animal, you will be defiled until evening. But... <laughs> Hold What's on. What's with the until evening anyway? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. It just says it. Yeah. Here's the thing. It's saying not to touch the carcass of, of a pod animal. If my cat dies, I'm going to fucking touch it. Right. Because I'm going to be sad and I'm going to hug it and I'm going to make sure that it's, you know, properly um, put in a nice little box with pretty little bows and things. Sure. And then I'm going to bury it. I'm going to touch that carcass because I'm going to cry a lot. Yeah. Yeah. So fuck you. Yeah. Besides, it's just till till evening. Till evening. Yeah. <laughs> if you pick up its carcass, you must wash your clothes, and you will remain defiled until evening. evening. These animals are unclean for you. Of the small animals that scurry along the ground, these are unclean for you. Ready? I'm ready. The mole rat. The mm. rat. Large lizards of all kinds. The gecko. The monitor lizard. The common lizard. The sand lizard. And the chameleon. Hmm. Those are all reptilian, aren't they? They are. Yeah. Which is probably a way to keep people from getting, um, what is it, Ebola or E. coli? Or what I can't remember it? which one it is. Salmonella. Salmonella, yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. I knew it was something along those, whatever. Yeah. I'm just showing my stupidity right now, that's all. Well, I mean, that's why we have to wash our hands before and after playing with our snake. Right. So I mean, see, there's some there's some good advice in there. Yeah, but just tell me why. Don't be like they didn't magic. know why. They just knew people got sick. So don't. Why don't they just say this shit makes you sick, dumbasses? I mean, it doesn't seem to help today. Like, hey, um, you know, don't drink bleach, you dumbasses. Well, they didn't have Purell and you know fucking ivory soap back then, ivory so soap. you know it, it's a. Uh, it was Why a different the plug time. for ivory soap? I don't know, because it just popped. I got to go with what pops in my head. It popped in my head. All right. Okay? It just popped in there. That's right. All these small animals are unclean for you. If any of you touch the dead body of such an animal, you will be defiled. Until evening. <laughs> if such an animal dies, God, you would think that we live in the city. 
Okay. Um, if you touch, wait, if any of you touch the dead body of such an animal, you will be defiled until evening. If such an animal dies and falls on something, that object will be unclean. Mm. This is true whether the object is made of wood, cloth, leather, or burlap. Oh, okay. But if it's made of plastic, it's okay. Right. Well, they didn't <laughs> have plastic back right. then. Right. Kind of my point. Whatever. Like, this is God speaking. He should know mm-hmm. all the things. Right. Why didn't they know about plastic back then? He didn't feel it necessary. What is, what is the new direction? Why hasn't he come out with a new set of rules for plastic? Oh, yeah. We should come out with a new set of rules. I'm just saying, if he was the all-knowing, all-powerful God, yeah. why don't we have a new rule for new elements and new True. things? True. Whatever it's used, you must dip it in water and it will remain defiled until evening. <laughs> After that, it will be ceremonially clean and may be used again. Okay. Okay, so just wash it, and yeah, then the next right. day it's magically clean again. They, they said dipped in water, though. Yeah. You don't even have to wash it, just dip it in water. Well, I mean, hold on. Um, Dies and falls, made of whatever, dip it in, you were right, just dip, dip it. Dip it in water. I would wash it, personally. Oh, well, yeah. That's just me. The instructions were to dip it in water. At least dip it, you dumb motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> if such an animal falls into a clay pot, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I mean, a rat could be going okay, in there to okay. get some remnants of food and die. Everything you know? in a pot will be defiled, and the pot must be smashed. There Damn, is no until there's evening. No saving that shit. Nope, huh? nope, no dipping no for dip you. In that in water, yeah. If the water from such a container spills on any food, the food will be defiled. That's fair. Okay. It had a fucking dead rat in it. Right. Yeah, that's fair. But it probably had a live rat in it the day before. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> Whatever. And any beverage in such a container will be defiled. Yeah, I should think so. Mm. Any object on which the carcass of such an animal falls will be defiled. If it is an oven or hearth, it must be destroyed. Oh, my Whoa. gosh. Oh. Yeah, that's crazy you gotta go back and i think if it happened in our oven i just clean it really good yeah really good really good yeah still just clean it yeah instead of destroying it yeah yuck let's just not right yeah i mean i don't want to end up with a dead it must be destroyed for it is defiled and you must treat it accordingly yeah i can't afford a new oven that right yeah no however if the carcass of such an animal falls into a spring or a cistern well the water will still be clean Hmm. Ugh. I mean, I probably wouldn't. Depends on how big the cistern or spring yeah, is. Yeah, I wouldn't drink from it. I probably wouldn't there. be drinking from it. Fuck that. But anyone who touches the carcass will be defiled. How do you get it out without... Oh, my God. I can't. Well, I just can't. leave it I in. Can't. You know? No. It doesn't... According to them, it doesn't hurt anything. No. <laughs> I'm not leaving no dead-ass animal in my fucking cistern. <laughs> if the carcass falls on seed grain to be planted in the field, the seed will still be considered clean. I mean, yeah, yeah whatever. But if the seed is wet when the carcass falls on it, the seed will be defiled. Hmm. Whatever. Okay. I don't know that I'd buy that one. <laughs> yeah. I don't give a shit about a seed wet or dry. Right. If an animal you are permitted to eat dies and you touch its carcass, you will be defiled until evening. Got it. So eat it Wait, tomorrow. You got to touch the dead meat. I mean, you literally eat the dead meat. <laughs> I don't know what they're saying here. Okay. If you eat any of its meat or carry away its carcass, you must wash your clothes and you will remain defiled until evening. I think they mean like if you come across like a dead um, cow. Okay. You don't know how long it's been sitting there and rotting. Don't just like scoop up a handful of meat and stuff in your yeah, mouth. Yeah, yeah. Okay. They're saying no, even though it normally would be fine because okay. of its cuds and I mean, its I mean, that's good, good advice yeah, also. Yeah. You know. Yeah. I, I will approve of that one. Yep. Yeah. All small animals that scurry along the ground are detestable and you must never eat them, period. This includes all animals that slither along on their bellies, like snakes. I hear snakes pretty good, actually. Tastes like chicken. I have heard that and I I would like to try it. Right. I've always wanted to try snake and crocodile and alligator because I fucking hate crocodiles and alligators. (laughs) So you're like, I'll eat that shit. I will eat that shit all day. (laughs) Those guys are evil. They are evil and they are bad. Crocodiles and alligators are mean, and I hate them. Mm. Okay. Slithers, blah, blah, blah. All such animals that scurry along the ground are detestable, and you must never eat them. But I am going to, so fuck off. Yeah. Do not defile yourselves by touching them. You must not make yourself ceremonially unclean because of them. For I am the Lord your God. 
You must consecrate yourselves and be holy because I am holy. You're speaking in the first person there in the Bible. Mm-hmm. Like, it's, yeah. it's God speaking. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, it's Moses speaking on his behalf. Whatever. So do not defile yourselves with any of these small animals that scurry along the ground. For I, the Lord, am the one who brought you up from the land of Egypt, that I might be your God. Oh, throw that in my face. <laughs> <laughs> like, wh- okay. Therefore, you must be holy because I am holy. These are the instructions regarding land animals, birds, marine creatures, and animals that scurry along the ground. By these instructions, you will know what is unclean and clean and which animals may be eaten and which may not be eaten. Whew. Man, I'm glad we got those instructions. That's, oh, my uh, God. There's more of this, though. Seriously? God, I thought that would be the end of a section, but it's not. Oh, right? Oh, shit. Here we go. Ready? Here we go. This is shit about to get real. Oh, wow. The purification of women after childbirth. Okay. <sighs> okay. That sounds heavy to me. I mean, maybe. Because we are talking about a bunch of fucking men talking about vagina all right and vagina care well let's see what they have and vagina s- aftercare let's see what they have to say huh i i'm a little nervous about this quite honestly all right the lord said to moses give the following instructions to the people of israel if a woman becomes pregnant and gives birth to a son she will be ceremonially unclean for seven days just as she is unclean during her menstrual period <laughs> oh my god i'm about to come unfucking glued I will tell you who's unclean. You know who's unclean? Men. You know why? Because men have to be trained to put the fucking toilet seat down after they piss. And they have to be trained to wash the goddamn hands. And to use more than just sticking their fingers in the water. No. Put your whole fucking hand in the water and use fucking soap. I'm pretty sure our neighbors heard that one. Okay. I hate men. And how fucking dare they talk about my pussy as being unclean just because I was on my period. I don't even want, you guys scratch your fucking balls like they're about to fall off and you want to talk to me about what's unclean. Get the fuck out of here. Just to be clear, she's talking about all men, not me. Fair, fair, yes. No, I got a good end. I'm just saying. Husband, you are wonderful. You are just railing off and like, I'm sitting here like, whoa. (laughs) No, no, um, my man is good, but men in general... Get the fuck out of here. I just wanted to get a clarification in there, you know. Yeah. That's all. But even you, as a man, must admit that, in general, men are disgusting. I would tend to agree with that, yeah. See? On the eighth day, the boy's foreskin must be circumcised. What's that got to do with the woman? Well, it's just, it's, this is about birth and, oh and all the stuff God. that you got to do, so. Oh, I hate, I hate you this. You got to chop that I, wiener. I hate this, just so we're clear. After waiting 33 days, she will be purified from the bleeding of childbirth. How lucky for her. During this time of purification, she must not touch anything that is set apart as holy. What What does that mean? That means all the holy things, like all the, but I mean, the no, fucking no, no. Is... incense and, and fucking tent cloth and, and fucking pots and fucking What happens 33 cloth. days after her childbirth, though? Suddenly she's magically deemed Done and good. Oh, okay. She's good now. You're right. good now. Right. You're not a disgusting whole bag bleeding anymore. <laughs> and she must not enter the sanctuary until her time of purification is over. <sniffs> Fuck you. Yeah. If a I, woman... Hmm? I thought that they... Were women even allowed in the, this? Or what's the sanctuary versus... Then I know they're not allowed in the tabernacle, I don't think. I don't fucking know. I'm too angry to give a shit. I can tell. I, I do maybe, not like maybe it. bring it down a notch, you know, like... I don't like breathing it. exercises. You, in. you are not going to tell me to bring it down a notch when nobody is telling you that parts of your body are disgusting and unclean and that you can't go places and touch places. You are not going to tell me to calm the fuck down. I'm only telling you this so that you're able to make it through the reading of the rest oh, of this section. I'm just because otherwise we might be here for the next hour. I'm so angry. If a woman gives birth to a daughter, she will be ceremonially unclean for two weeks, just as she is unclean during her menstrual period. Wait, so it's you're unclean longer if you have give birth to a daughter versus a Mm -hmm. male? Because girls are gross. Girls are whores, didn't you know? That's really weird. Girls are disgusting. Girls have vaginas and they bleed from them. Fucking girls. You know, we just fucking carry the weight of the entire species inside of us. No bigs. After waiting 66 days, she will be purified from the bleeding of childbirth. 
Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Go ahead. Go no, ahead. No, I just, I, I don't, I don't understand what they're saying exactly. They're saying that women are disgusting and men are awesome. Right. Okay. That's what they're saying. All right. When the time of purification is completed for either a son or a daughter, the woman must bring a one-year-old lamb for a burnt offering <laughs> and a young pigeon or turtle dove for a purification offering. Please forgive me for having a pussy. Please, please, I'm so sorry I have a pussy. I mean, you are God and you did give it to me. I'm so sorry about my cunt. I'm really, really sorry. God, please. <laughs> she must bring her offerings to the priest at the entrance of the tabernacle. The priest will then present them to the Lord to purify her. Phew, thank God. God has wiped my vagina clean. <laughs> Then she will be ceremonially clean again after her bleeding at childbirth. These are the instructions for a woman after the birth of a son or daughter. If a woman cannot afford to bring a lamb, she must bring two turtle doves or and two... And a partridge and a pear tree? Or two young pigeons. One will be for the burnt offering. Go ahead. The priest will sacrifice them to purify her and she will be ceremonially clean. Got it. Oh, my got God. It. I got to take a break. I'm telling you, because, A, we're still in the same section, and it that, goes on forever and ever. Does it really? Yeah, look. The next section, and this is the same chapter. Oh, no, it's another chapter. My bad. Oh, you know what? I wonder if I accidentally... Um, read I, both the chapters I think one. I read both the chapters. <laughs> I was so mad. I just went, like, right into it. Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> My bad. So maybe there's no break in this one. It's just straight there's on just through. First straight one, on, straight on through. Yeah, there was just straight on through. Yeah. Um, the purification of women after childbirth. That, that was, was another that chapter. That was chapter 12. Oh, so yeah. Oh, I was just, just... FYI, everybody. We're in chapter 12 now. We're in chapter 12 now. Sorry. <laughs> that happened. Yeah. And we are not going back and redoing this. Nope. <laughs> I can't read that again. I will read that never. <laughs> this has been one fucked up episode. Well, I mean, that happens. Yeah, that, it does. That's life. It you is. Know? Yeah, everybody's got to have a fucked up episode. And when you're a half hour in, you just got to roll with it, you know? I mean, it wasn't that bad. The only thing that could really screw this up is if one of us said each other's name at this point. Oh, fuck it. <laughs> I would be like, "Well, we're done." <laughs> Let's do a quick, like, "Oh, sorry, guys, we skipped this week because we just got pissed." <laughs> because I can't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry, I didn't um, separate these like I normally do, and they come in bunches. The chapters, I mean. Yeah. And so I just jumped straight into the next one without stopping. Got My it. apologies. That was me. Well, go ahead. Are we? Are we already? Through the entire chapter? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so we did. So now we're done with 11 and 12. We're done with 11 and 12. And did you go into 13 or did you? No. Oh, okay, I stopped okay. right then. Chapter 13 will be laws concerning leprosy next week. So wait, week. Just, just to clarify, how did, how did 12 end? 12 ended right before we started talking about women. It was talking about the last sentence is by these instructions, you will know what is unclean and clean and which animals may be eaten and which may not be eaten. Oh. That was it. Okay. And then chapter 12 is the purification of women after childbirth. Right. But you said we finished 12. So that's... that's we did. Was, where did. Where did 12 end? Oh, I'm sorry. That's what I was asking. My bad. The priest will sacrifice them to purify her and she will be ceremonially clean. Okay. Oh, that's so, right. Because they had to have the, all the turtle offerings. doves and the, and the Partridge and the pear tree. Partridge and the pear tree. To clean up her nasty poo nanny. Right. Okay. Got it. Now okay. she's clean and she and can was, continue serving her man. And that was the end of 12. Okay. That was the end of 12. Sorry. Well, no, it's all right. At least we got it all in in one ep. You know, we it's just a giant, it just one giant episode all the way through. No, no break. <laughs> I mean, it's not like people like, I, I don't, I doubt. Well, I want to hear from you guys. If you guys take a piss break in the middle of our episode, <laughs> when we do the little in between, then let us know. Cause you know, maybe, maybe you do need the break. I need but a break. Generally, I'm guessing that people probably listen to us either while they're at work or um, on their way to or from work or as they're going to bed or something like that. Because that's that's generally my habits anyway when I listen to a podcast. I mean, like I do it during some other task that I'm doing, you know? So they probably don't need the break in the middle. That's just for us. True. You know? True. All right. 
Then I'm not sorry, you guys. Yeah, we're not sorry. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> All right. I promise to be on my better behavior next week. Yeah. And we will read Leviticus chapters 13 and 14 at that time. And I will have them split properly and um, things will be better. I mean, yeah. Yeah. We, we'll, we can only hope. We'll do better. All right. See you guys. Bye. Wife. Can I say the things now? Yes. Okay. So you had a list of items that you wanted people to check out? Yeah, definitely. Um, make sure you check us out on Twitter. We are there under the handle sacrilegious underscore D. For D's nuts. Yeah, that's that's exactly where I'd have gone with that. Yep. Um, we also would love to get emails from you because we love hate mail, fan mail, the whole nine yards there. That email address is sacrilegiousdiscourse at gmail.com. And we are now on YouTube. And if you are listening to us on YouTube, you're going to be running a little bit behind what our schedule is for our podcast because you're going to be hearing stuff from two months before if you are caught up. You're in the past. You're in the past. So you should join us on our podcasting apps that are available. So like you can catch us on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify. I'm on um, CastBox. Yeah, my wife's special. She's on CastBox. I like CastBox. And then on any of the things that you're on, we always would love it if you would like and subscribe. That helps us out so, so much. So, yeah, do those things. Do those things. And we will see you guys next week. Sure. Sure we will. It's on Thursdays. Yeah, that. Okay, bye. Bye.